morning friends today my topic is memory management my name is dhawal khim i am from government polytechnic gandhinagar and this topic memory management belongs to the subject operating system so my objective of this lecture would be uh, uh, the student should be able to define the data program and process after the lecture explain what is data and program means he would be able to differentiate between the terms data and program discuss the advantage and disadvantage of memory management okay define good and bad practice of memory management select appropriate memory algorithm so there are various algorithms which are uh, applied to manage the data in the memory we will understand how what is the memory what is the memory management and how do we manage it and uh, the basic term is calculate the size of the memory okay and the addressing so these are the objective of this lecture the prerequisite for this lecture is very light kind of thing we just required to know the basic term of uh, the machine computer what we say the cpu all of you are uh, aware about this thing the ram random access memory hard disk the hard, hard drive where the data is getting stored and computer components other mouse keyboard and those things right so let's see so all of you are aware about memory right everyone has seen the memory uh, you must be knowing about the term cd cd drives okay this is the ram random access memory this is a floppy drive older time people were using it right then the hard disk the internal hard disk how its sectors are there what are the reader writer sit there there is an external hard disk over there okay then earlier time when there was no hard disk or magnetic tapes were there there was punch card system the older time okay there were magnetic uh, uh, tapes were there like our cassette are there right in, in, within that and even uh, the uh, this is the micro sd card which is used to consume more amount of data into a uh, small space and best thing is that what we already used once uh, in uh, uh, our uh, uploading our presentation in the computer that is called this uh, pen drive it's a pen and it contains the memory okay so these are the memory so the term is clear what is memory okay what is management why do we require management so what we will achieve from this management that is the basic question can anyone say a few words about why we require a management yeah then to achieve the aim of yeah so uh, definitely good points what i found is easy to find the things okay we are storing the content inside a container but the difficulty is that it is unorganized way right so if we make it organized it is easy to find okay then faster to access we can quickly find out the things then error free there is no error so it is certainty and the peaceful behavior so you are managing the time properly and sequencing in a peaceful manner it's a good picture of buddha actually so if you are managing your thoughts inside your brain the things go in a flow so it's a peaceful okay if we don't do this what will happen what if not so for any topic to understand uh, we should be clear about the co concept why we need it and what if not right so what if not is there if we don't manage the data properly so big chaos right we are unable to handle the situations just like the lady right she is doing her job but she is unaware about where is the later inside the bunch of they say difficult to manage time consuming and uncertain so computer works on the basic principle time management and certainty so it is breaking this thing so that's why we require memory management okay so first of all all of you know what is memory right but in basic term what is memory it's basically a space empty space a container it's a space where you can put any object right so same way your universe is a space which contains stars moons uh, earth sun and those kind of elements even our earth it's also memory which contains people and things right so it's a container same way a small example of this is a library uh, ship shelf it is a space which contains the books okay so that is what memory double equals to space it's a technical term double equals to yeah so space to store what in terms of computer or any memory we are storing data so data what we need to know so in terms of a library or a shelf 
the data is the book a content or information is our keywords right like books into a shelf okay it's a small piece was example was shelf it is easy to manage a shelf and content uh, limited content 100 books or 200 books but when we think in a bigger term right uh, in a more bigger picture this is a library okay it has several sections throughout and thousands and millions of books inside it okay now our basic purpose was to provide easiness faster access and searching speed and certainty so how to manage this kind of issues do we require a management here yes. to provide the certainty yeah so that's what we require so what we require then a systematic approach to handle the data and that is called memory management okay so this is an execution model so our memory resides over here okay this is your processor this is data and program we talk about data contained to be stored okay same way program is a collection of data but in an organized manner it's a collection of instructions so these two elements are getting stored over here into memory and this memory is connected with the processor so what we call what we say processor is the executor in our example of library content to be stored that is data is books okay program that is guidelines what should be done process is the actual execution putting the books into racks and the processor is the librarian who is executing this thing is it clear any questions okay let's move so the memory and processor are connected and the process queue is what the sequence of execution which will be stored over here so processor will read the sequence what should be done and to what it should be done so this is the area which we, which is getting accessed by these two elements and then correspondingly signals are sent to mouse keyboard monitor display or cpu whatever resources are available so i think it is clear so yeah to manage the memory our topic was memory management and we found out that memory management is very much required so there should be some systematic approach to handle this thing so what could be our systematic approach it is we can divide the section memory sections one we can say data section another we can say program section and the dynamic allocation section a stack you can say or a heap it's a technical word but in simple term you can say dynamically if we want some memory there should be some area free which can be allocated at run time so partitioning of this thing second thing we need to identify the locations address just like in our uh, day to day living we all of our belong to different state okay different homes and different regions so all of we are having our addresses right as uh, my example i belong to gandhinagar so we defined it gandhinagar in uh, gujarat then in uh, from sector 1 okay then my house number 44474a2 uh, so that defines where i belong to so it is easy to fastly access the thing same way the memory should have an address value so the processor where what we said it will ask the data from where from where over here from a particular memory location so that is what the address and uh, the processor should know whether it's a process program or a data right either to interpret or it or on work on it yeah so division is there addressing is there and now the come term comes is how to use this space when i identified this space how to use it the content should be stored in a mannerized way organized way uh, am i clear or any questions okay so we can divide the same space into smaller chunks smaller areas right uh, if uh, gandhinagar is uh, 9 cross 9 km or 10 cross 10 km area we can divide into sectors called 1 cross 1 right so we are dividing into the same area into different pieces it's a logical line which is easy to handle it and search it that's why we provide a logical line over here so we can divide the section in either fixed manner or in different various lengths uh, so we can say ahmedabad ka jo region hai uska region define nahi hai 
केस इज फोर क्रॉस फोर किलोमीटर और टू क्रॉस टू किलोमीटर बट गांधीनगर में एवरी वन इज वन वन क्रॉस वन किलोमीटर एवरी सेक्टर इज सो सेम वे फिक्स साइज इज कॉल्ड पेज एंड वेरिएबल साइज इज कॉल्ड सेगमेंट सो दिस इज वेरिएबल साइज दिस इज फिक्स साइज द एड्रेसिंग वॉट आई मैंशन द एड्रेसिंग इज लाइक दिस दिस मेमोरी हैव द एड्रेस वैल्यू ओके तो इट हैज अ कंटेंट एड्रेस यू कैन से वन बिट it can store either 0 or 1 yeah 0 is a voltage 2 voltage and 1 is 5 voltage so you can store the voltage in one bit a uh, one byte contains eight bits okay 1 kb is 1024 uh, bytes same way 1 megabyte gb and tb so we can calculate our memory size based on this yeah so now the address space what it should be so we have a bus wire inside us so it is either 16 bit 32 bit or 64 bit our processor you must must be knowing right 32 bit processor or 64 bit processor that defines your address space so when we know this memory size we can define what how number of addresses will be there okay and this is the diagram okay then i said the allocation strategy should be there how the content should be allocated so this is my memory space so these are the already allocated content are there so there are four algorithm first bit best bit next bit and worst bit first bit is first location to be identified best bit is actual memory content what it requires okay next bit is next allocated location uh, and worst bit is the biggest memory size so it has it performance issues and performance related things which it defines what algorithm need to be over there and uh, the issues are that whenever we allocate there is some space is left right if uh, 10 bytes of memory is uh, required and there is 16 byte of memory is there four byte uh, six byte will be left unassigned so this is unassigned location is called fragmentation so if this much is given and this has been unused that is called internal fragmentation and if this much is required and this much is given between this two this is called external fragmentation and segmentation is dynamic memory allocation agar karte hai to uske beech mein jo rehta hai that is called segmentation yeah and questions uh, like what is memory management we have covered okay definition between data and program i think everyone would be able to understand difference between data and program what do we you understand by the terms paging is it clear fixed size memory is page and dynamic size memory is segment which one is better and when it depends on the application what kind of content we have and how much bigger is the application explain segment and fragmentation we have just seen in the above slide uh this one right yep and uh, i can give you an uh, sample assignment to define the best fit algorithm what we have this uh, uh best fit over here the actual location to be find so it has some performance advantages and disadvantages processing level pe so that need to be given and this is what you have to forget about it thank you